second. something that you're super interested in you didn't get accepted you can always shoot me an email or whatever but yeah it, we're still going to be grinding vast vast majority of the time on this channel so it's not like it really matters that much um so yeah definitely uh congrats to everybody who's in that and if not you know it's all good dude you can still study and we still grind um it was just for people who have been here for way too long and already knew all my tricks you know <laughs> so yeah um so cool dudes um yeah um, there's a Discord you could join, definitely. Um, there's other stuff you can do. Um, as always, you can hit me up via email. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, cool. You got, a, you got ads? Aw, oh, dude, you guys are getting ads. Yes, that's awesome. Thank, thank you guys so much. We made it to 1,000. I did not think it would happen. Dude, you have no idea how small this niche is. This, like, SHSAT, like... It's so small. So like the fact that we got to a thousand, like that's like so huge. I can't believe it. I oh, didn't get that. They don't play it on every every video. Uh, I have no idea, Rusim. I don't. I honestly don't know how it works. Um, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I think that's true, Wiz. <laughs> oh, is that true, Poke Art? Yeah, nice. So um, Rusim got an Upwork ad. Well, go to Upwork, dude. <laughs> yeah i am a good 30 second behind in the comments that's just how it is like with streaming it's just like at least my setup is just too s hey thanks the boss it, my setup is just too slow like it, it's going as hard trust me my computer is working as hard as it can um yeah i'll tr i'll try april thanks um cool so yeah what's up professor dragon so yeah what do you guys what do you guys like to work on today um yeah well summer yeah you're gonna get one next year because yeah you'll be there next year summer don't even trip but yeah summer's in uh seventh grade right now yeah yeah, yeah exactly mm. <laughs> that's probably true yeah what's up elizabeth okay yeah so what we're going to do now it just whatever you guys have like suggestions like is there anything specifically that you guys want to work on for this stream uh you want to work on grammar bob math ratios we can work on ratios rona that's actually a pretty chill we haven't worked on ratios in a while permutations and combinations you should check out my stream from i think friday miscellaneous uh <laughs> thanks saying yeah um uh, Oh, really? Yeah, it's probably just my microphone. Um, you're at the hospital. It's crazy. I hope you're feeling better, bro. Permutations, survey questions, inclusive range. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be this weekend. The OG streams are going to be this weekend. So I already emailed them out. If you didn't get an email to be in the OG streams and you really think you should be, send me an email and we'll talk about it. Uh, similar to the first question of your latest video. What was the first question? Oh, that racetrack. Yeah, let's go over that, actually. That was a good one. Actually, it's right here. So, dude, I had I have new editing software. Like, the editing software I was using, I was using it for free. And when I updated my operating system, it basically was like, no, nah, you're going to have to register this. And I was like, oh, no. So, okay, so check this out. Here's the question from earlier today. Um, what do you guys think of this? A lot of people got it right, so I didn't know it would be a problem. Um, but what do you guys think? The circumference on a line? Well, SH, this is what we're going to be working on, bro. Uh, <laughs> oh, you broke your finger, Red Wan? That stinks, bro. Which finger? <laughs> right. So, yeah, look at this. Like, look at this. Um... <laughs> yeah look at this um look at this uh thing yeah auditioning's got b 
Yeah, that's exactly it, my dude. That's exactly it, auditioning. Because what are these are are quarter circles with a radius of two. So that would mean that it's one fourth of the entire circle. And the entire circle is four pi, right? So one fourth of that is just gonna be one pi. So each of these curves is just a pi, is just a pi, and there's six of them. So that's how we know it's going to be adding six pi. This is the only one that adds six pi, so that's why it's for sure be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So that's that one was actually pretty easy. One that I was surprised that the poll was off big time. One that I was surprised the poll was off big time. Uh, yeah. I love having you here, Jordan. That's for sure. Um, okay. Cool. So let's look at this one. People were kind of thrown by this one, or at least it was. It seemed hard for some people. Um, so check it out. Mm mm mm. Dude, yeah, breaking fingers is weird. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so check it out. So, Ricky, I did these questions earlier today. I released a video. Uh, the quality of the video might be a little bit bad. Um, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, exactly, April. You got three for this one, sentence three. Mm -mm -mm. Right. So yeah, people were saying D on this one. People were saying C on this one. Sentence four, sentence three. Yeah, people are going back and forth on this one. So take a second and relook at it. I'm going to drink this incredibly hot coffee. So all right, actually, let me call these out. So Saggy thinks it's D. Auditioning is on D. SH is on C. April thinks it's D. Uh, Pokar thinks it's D. Xiao thinks it's C. Rona thinks it's D. Yashin, Rodney both agree. Mm -mm -mm. Auditioning and Tammy thinks it's D. Yeah, so this is exactly very tough. Okay, so that's a good question, miscellaneous. What does it mean when it says sentence, uh, when it says error in its construction or whatever? What this means is two things. One, it could mean misplaced modifiers, and that's probably what they're they're indicating here. Two, it could mean commas and sentence structure a little bit, but yeah, Rona's actually right on this one. In my experience, when they say sentence construction, they're looking for a modifier. Yeah, so people are leaning towards D. So we can look at D and see that there's a problem with the modifier. Sitting across from me, the table felt long. So this is the modifier sitting across from me, and it's modifying this noun, which is the table, which is kind of whack, because a table can't, quote, quote, sit across from you and, you know, I guess it could, but you could tell by the context that they're sitting at a long table and he's trying to, you know, the narrator is trying to avoid looking at a hat. So that's sitting across from me is probably not what is sitting across from him. Lufario probably is. Where C is actually a trick. <laughs> I threw a trick in here because this is not a modifier. Okay. This is a dependent clause. Now, a dependent clause is a full sentence. If I'm like, uh, let me get a better pen than this. If I'm like, I. Uh, even better pen, this pen is a 0.7, bros. Only that 1.0. I swim, right? This is a complete sentence. Um, it's good to go. But if we throw a dependent marker, look at a noun verb, if and then object, whatever. If we put a dependent marker on the end of this, like when, bro, this is not a complete sentence anymore. It's like when I, spin, when I swim, what? As he approached the dining hall, what? This as ruined it. If I just had he approached the dining hall, that's legit a complete sentence and that comma would be whack. But since it, it's a dependent clause, you just need to put a comma before the new sentence. So yeah, this is actually a dependent clause and then an indep they generally mean commas for sentence structure. And I feel like everybody got that comma question really well. So I mean, we could talk about it or whatever, but like... Uh, yeah, totally. So, wait, where's this one? Oh, yeah, the comma one. This comma one. I feel like people did, like, I don't know. I feel like people did pretty solid on it. Um, but I thought it was pretty hard. Um, but yeah, I think you guys did pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah, let me see. I think most people got this one right, so I'm not I'm not gonna actually go over this one unless you guys have any questions on it or whatever. Um, 
Yeah. But yeah, I think we can go into ratios next because we have not talked about ratios in a real minute and that would be totally worthwhile um, to, to, to check out or whatever. Well, let me get some coffee up in here. Uh -huh. Yeah, auditioning C, Rodney C. Yep. Mm hmm. Running pass. Okay. Yeah. After world? What is the purpose of comma after world? Um, where does it say world? Where does it say world, uh, April? People are thinking C on this one. Yep. Nahar thinks it. Zach thinks it. Shad. Mm hmm. Bob. Xiao. A boss. Venna. Mm hmm. Yep. That's exactly it. So, yeah, you guys nailed this one so hard. But in case anybody is confused, what this comma and and is, comma, yeah, exactly, SH, this comma fanboy is the same thing as a period. And everything before this comma fanboy, since it's not a list, we know it's a period, everything before it is just a big verb. Who is running? It says running past the blue house where Mary grew up as a child. But who is running? That's just a big verb. And so comma fanboys are like a big period. So if you have a verb, then a period, that's not a complete sentence, bros. You got to have a subject and a verb. Then you can throw a period. The rest of that is a complete sentence. Yeah, all these other ones are correct, but you guys actually crushed these really hard. Um, so no worries, bros. You guys are awesome. Okay, cool. So there's that. Uh, I'm impressed with this one. This one got some different answers, but I kind of want to keep it a secret just because if you know what you're doing, you are competent. Um, and this one. Okay, so now I want to challenge the chat here really quick. My question to you is, if yes, what is the radius? Okay, so this is like a little extra thing I'm going to ask the chat real quick. Who knows? What would be the radius using pi as its exact calculated number what could the radius be why isn't it a ricky you know like i get these mad late obviously because my technology is like whack but let me show you you guys think about this pi one i'm gonna break this down for ricky real quick oh wait nope that was the wrong question hold on okay so look at this check this out dude the first sentence that's a sentence adjective to introduce the sentence. Frankly, comma, introductory phrase, you could call it that. Lisa, there's our subject. Modifying phrase, tired from her train ride, describing Lisa. So Lisa slept for 14 hours in her new bed. That's a complete sentence, bro. The grind don't stop now. <laughs> so what would it be? What? So people are saying no. Some people are saying yes. Yeah, it can't really be divisible. Dude, I am about to blow your mind. I think I am. I think it's going to happen. Ricky thinks it's B. A lot of people are thinking it's no. Yep. Auditioning thinks it's B. It can't be. Dude, I'm about to blow your minds. All right, that's enough time. I'm about to blow your minds. Get ready. Hold the top of your head down so that your brain doesn't <laughs> blow out. Sorry about the dogs. They just get really excited. <laughs> you should see them. They're so cute when they like play. Um, okay, cool. So what we need to know is that 25 feet squared needs to equal pi r squared. Now I'm going to get rid of the units just to clarify everything here. 25 equals pi r squared. So one thing that I want you guys to consider is that any number over itself equals one. I can put three over three and that equals one. I could put four 0.5 over 4.5, that equals 1. I could even put pi over pi, and that equals 1. But this is a problem here, because if I, I want my r to be like 1 or 25 over pi, once I square it, it gets kind of crazy. So what you have to make the radius, and check this out, I was like, what? Equals pi, and then the radius itself is the square root of 25 over pi squared. 
So that's our radius. Our radius is going to be 25 over pi and take the square root of that. That is our radius. So when we square this, this square root and that square cancel out. So what we get is 25 equals pi times 25 over pi. Those pi's cancel out. And so we get 25. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the answer bro that is the answer um so yeah it can it can it actually can happen if you have this radius be 20 the square root of 25 over pi or yeah what are what auditioning um yeah so yeah i guess i do have a, a, i do have donations now in my chat if you think a question's really good then you can donate i guess um, so yeah, <laughs> dude, people's minds are blown. I told you, I told you. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that is what's up. That's what's up with this one. So I thought this was interesting. I, I sat in my chair just thinking about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's what's up. Um. Oh, it's okay, Ziao. I appreciate the I appreciate the uh, the intention for the most part. Uh, no, it says the exact exact definition of the exact calculation of pi. Um, so yeah, that's what's up. Uh, what's up, Rachel? Okay, cool. So let me put together a let me put together a ratio problem that I think might be. Uh, let me actually get a square scratch sheet of paper really quick. Let me get like a ratio problem. Um, All right, cool. Here's the first uh, question. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, cool. So here's the question. Uh, I'll give you guys a minute and a half for it. Let's go. Obviously, I made it a little bit more difficult than normal, but it shouldn't be anything that can throw you guys. Uh, yeah, Saggy, that's correct about dependent clauses. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Shad. <laughs> yeah, if this stream take gets a hundred likes, Porsche will change his name. Ooh, this one's hard. Okay, we got our first answer in auditioning on it. Saggy, Ziao, Dark, wow, Rodney, yeah, you guys totally got this, Shad, April, yeah, yep, Nahar, Noise, Lynn, good, uh, <laughs> William just says cool, <laughs> which is an answer I'll take, uh, just kidding, William, Veda, 
All right, cool. That's enough time. Yeah, that's way more than enough time. All right, bros. I didn't get everybody's answer in there, but you guys all know it. Shut up. So, guys, what we need to do is just because what we're looking at is simplified versions of the that's that's cool summer simplified versions of the ratios so we have to unsimplify these ratios so we know it's two to five to seven to three. First thing we got to do is match them so i'm going to multiply this ratio by seven i'm going to multiply this ratio by five that's 14 to 35 multiply this by five so it'll be 35 to 15 okay so here is our ratio and we know that it's going to be a little bit more than this because there's 128 items and this does not add up to that so they're going to be multiplied by something we have to figure out what that is so it's going to be 14x plus the 35x plus the 15x will equal that 128 and the then we can add these up and figure out what the same multiplier is because if they're reduced by the same number they're going to be multiplying by the same number yeah this is going to be 40 50 that's going to be 64 so 64 x equals 128 bros can you believe it that's going to be x equals 2. so that's our multiplier here so we're going to plug it back into this ratio that we found and so what that means is that there's going to be double the amount of these 35s yep so it's 70. the chat's got it that's nice that's really nice okay dudes you won't believe it i bought 400 sheets of paper <laughs> you guys want to see check this out check this out look at this uh this is a huge stack of graph paper look at this dude 400 wow what a time to be alive um <laughs> okay let's see yeah exactly where did i get the 14 35 15 from i unsimplified the um i unsimplified the the uh ratios my dude so i times the one ratio by seven on both sides i timed one ratio by five on both sides and that's how i got an ability to compare them <laughs> i know <laughs> dude no i'm not destroying the trees i recycle the paper so like when you guys use like a water bottle or whatever that's probably old old math problems <laughs> yeah okay cool so let me let me do another one um so let's see okay that's nice <laughs> let's okay cool um All right, cool. Um, my paper is plastic? No, but yes, thank you. Paper does make plastic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how recycling works. Um. <laughs> okay, cool. So here we go. Next one. Uh, the ratio of blue to green is one to three. I removed 10 blue. Now the ratio is one to nine. How many green are there? Yeah. Listen to your heart on this one, guys. Follow your dreams. <laughs> Dude, you have a pet turtle that is so chill. Is it a turtle where it swims or is it a tortoise? Turtles are so cool, dude. They're very noble creatures. Yeah, they're very wise, dude. His name is Fen. <laughs> That's a good name for a turtle. That's funny, dude. All right, I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds on this one. This is a, this is a real gamer problem. You have to be a gamer to get this one. <laughs> What do you guys want to work on next after we're done with ratios? Like I said, 
as per usual, I didn't really prepare the stream. All right, I got 15 more seconds. Ooh, this one's hard, man. No answers yet. Um, April, that, I can't answer that question. That's okay, Darkseid. We're going to be going over it, bro. Yeah, yeah, right. You do not have a pet, pet fox. That'd be so cool, though. No way. You might have, like, a dog that looks like a fox. Okay. <laughs> pet Reddit. <laughs> nice, dude. I also consider the people on Reddit to be my pets. Okay. Okay, so Poke has an answer here. 45. Um, let's see if anybody else comes out with an answer while I go over this one. Uh, if you did get it, that's okay. This one is a super advanced. Why is my tripod so high? Hold on. Let me let me fix this. Cuz I'm tired of having to zoom in. Okay. Wow. Now we can actually now we can actually see. <laughs> oh, that's sad, Pokar. Sorry to hear that, dude. Um All right, cool. So, yeah, exactly, April. Yeah. Uh no, there's going to be less blue. So, keep in mind whenever they present to you a ratio like this, they present it in simplest form. Just like if I were to say there one third of the bag is brown and there are nine total. Well, you just take this one third is simplified. That's not one. There's three brown ones. But when I put three over nine, I'm going to get that one third in the same way with ratios. So we know that we're at one to three. And if we remove 10 blue, we're now at one to nine. Um, <laughs> OK, Ricky's got 27. All right, I got you, dude. Ricky. Phoenix got 13. Okay, wow, we're getting some answers now. Phoenix, Geek, Cosines, Pokegar there. Nice, bro. Uh, I did not get a new camera. This is the same phone I've always had. <laughs> Thanks, though. Um, okay, cool. So, all right, so let me go over this. So we know if it's 1 to 3 and then you remove 10, then it's 1 to 9. This actually is a really good one. I'm trying to think of how to do this because <laughs> I built the problem and I was like, okay, Summer's got 13. Uh, Summer. Okay, cool. So one way that we could set this up, if it's one to three, that means that I have like one of these guys and I have three of these guys. Oh no, that's actually blue to green, right? Oh my God. All right, let me start this over. One to three is the blue to green. So that means potentially I have one blue and I have three green. So how would I represent that algebraically? Well, you'd say three times blue equals green. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we need to represent that 10 blues gets away. So blue minus 10 equals G if it's multiplied by nine, right? Because it was one to nine. So if I have nine of these blue ones, I'm gonna have as many green ones. And so that's what this says. So dudes, what we have here is a system of equations. This is our system of equations. Can you handle that? So we substitute 3b every time I see a g. So I'm going to also distribute this while I'm at it. 9b minus 90 equals 3b. Great, I'm going to bring the 3b. So 6b equals positive 90. 90 divided by 6 divided by 6. I know what 6s are. They look like that. So 90 divided by 6 is 1, 6, 3, 0, 5, 15. So that is solving for B. That means our original B value was 15. And so then that means our G value is going to be 45. Whoa. Nicely done. Really nicely done. Just, you just believe in yourself. I know you already took the test, but believe in yourself. Um, I'm going to give you guys a redemption for this one, but let me just show you very quickly the difference between the ratio. That's the ratio. That is the equation. The ratio is one to three when it comes to blue and green. That's our ratio. Our equation is 3B equals G because look at the numbers. If there's three of these, there's going to be one of these. You need three of them to equal how many are here. So yeah, that's, that's how this one goes down. So just be aware of that. The difference between the ratio and the algebra, that's actually something super, super key that you guys need to, yeah. And Ricky, systems of equations will likely be on your test. It's not like a, oh, guarantee, bro, but it's likely. All right, so let me guys give you guys a redemption so you guys can get this. Uh, where did I put my paper? Ah, put it on this book. Okay, save the turtles, everybody. 
shout, shout out to all turtles. No, not all turtles. I don't. I don't know all turtles. I can't speak for all turtles. But every turtle I've met is pretty chill. Um, <laughs> all right, so let me do another one. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Here's the question. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I know I'm stuck in Area 51, bro. Um, all right, let me see. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, cool. Let's do this. All right, guys. The ratio of blue to green is one to three. If I add 10 blue, the ratio is one to two. How many green are there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My my IQ is very high. So high. They had to increase the scale after I took the the IQ test. They're like, "Whoa, we need to we used to think that this was the top number, but now we got a new top number." That's what they said to me. I also took it in a basement in a back alley. So I don't know how official it was, but they said I was the smartest guy that came through there. All right, I'll give you guys like 45 more seconds on this one. It's tough. This, these are tough. And if you guys can think of a quicker way to do these, then holler. But I, I think this is the fastest way, or at least just now thinking about it, I guess. <laughs> okay, 30 more seconds. Let's go. Okay, Rachel's in on 60. Tammy co-signs it, so does Poke. Okay, sports show. Nice, sports show. Henry, I can't stop flexing. Flex is life, Rachel. Yeah, <laughs> Lynn, got you. Shade, Shade's got 30. All right, I got you, Shade. Um, Benna. Shod got 32. Nice. Okay. Uh, Leo's got 60. Tejas, 60 gang. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who else? Rodney. Dude, good chat today. Smart chat today. Dishing. Yashin. Nice. Okay, cool. That's enough time. Two minutes. Um, anybody else? I feel like I'm missing somebody. I'm sorry if I skipped your name for sure. Uh, Phoenix thinks it's minus 20. Got you, Phoenix. Um, it's kind of unorthodox, but I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. So let's go through this one. Um, yeah, let's go do it. All right. So you did 1x plus 10x divided by 3x equals 1 half. Does that work out? That is interesting, Rachel. Um, oh, I missed you, Ziao. Yeah, Jibra. Okay, cool. So that is interesting, Rachel. I don't really know. Um, oh, Jordan, missed you. Got you. Nice. Um, you put 30? Oh, maybe it was Shade again. Sorry, Shad. Um, okay, and Zrizzy. 
noise. Um, see a sync. All right, so let's go through this. So we know if the we're going to move this ratio into algebra. So if I have 3B, that will equal the amount of G I have. And that's supported by this. Keep in mind, B is B originally. G is G originally. Don't get it twisted like with age games. So then we're going to add 10 to the blue, and now it's 1 to 2. So if we that blue gets 10 more, now the ratio would be 2 to 1, like that. Bang. And so this is our system of equations. If you have this, you're a boss, basically, because it's super hard to go from ratio to this. Um, yeah, it does look weird, but it works. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, Rachel. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, if you can get this, you're a boss. Just think about it, that the the ratio ratio is different than the algebra. So sub it in, and I'm just going to work the rest of this out. So I'm going to definitely distribute that. That's an equal sign, because I know what I'm doing, 3B. OK, so basically 20 equals B. That was like the easiest thing in the world. And then it makes sense that if it's 10 more, it'll be 60 and 30. That is 1 half. So yeah, bang. I could just sub it back in here, and I'm going to get that 60. Yeah, nice, bros. Nice. OK, cool. So yeah, that's ratios. That is ratios. Should I do another really hard ratio problem, or should I move on? Is it time? <laughs> is it time to move on or is it not? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, let me see. <laughs> uh, okay. So, all right, chill. So I'm confused. Oh, you're confused? How do you get the 2B plus 10? Oh, I just totally ripped that up and threw it into the trash. Oh, the recycle. Hold on, let me, let me un unball this up. Uh, sorry, April. Shout out to April. Um, <laughs> here's my balled up sheet. I never should. I never should ball it up. I don't know why I do it. Should do one more. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, if it's one to three, let's just use some hypotheticals. That could be one blue and three green, or it could be two blue and six green, or it could be five blue and fifteen green. Just know that for these to be equal. I need to multiply this left side by three, no matter what the number is. And so that's what this algebra equation represents, is that however many b I have times three will equal the amount of g I have. The ratio goes from one third to one half when you add 10. So if I'm going to add 10 to my b, it's no longer I need three of them to equal g. Now I only need two, because the ratio is one to two once I add this b. And that's why it's up in there. Holler. Yeah, that is a recycle can. It is. Uh, no, I have a recycle can. I I do. It's a lovely recycle can. It's just for pages. And yeah, I mean, my state is super big on recycling, so everything is recycled. All right, cool. So let me do one more uh, ratio problem that's really hard um, that hopefully will push you guys a little bit. Oh, that's way too easy. Ah, uh, maybe not. Okay, slightly different twist. Last one. I know, it gets quiet just because I, I'm just, you know, working. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, my desk is kind of weird. All right, here we go. Uh, um, the ratio of red to blue is 2 to 5. If I half the amount of total objects, I will have 35 colored orbs. How many red did I have to start with? Two. 
<laughs> Guys, we have a bonus question in the chat from Tejas. <laughs> Okay, Poke has got it. Dude, Poke, you were on fire today, dude. Saggy. Henry. Auditioning. Ugh. Phoenix. Nice, Phoenix. Tejas. Leo. <laughs> Rachel. Everybody's getting it. The redemption's real. Xiao. Okay. Yeah, that's that's nice. April. Got you, April. Uh, could never forget. Uh, Nahar. All right, dude. Yeah, that's after Zrizzy. <laughs> All right, okay, cool. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. There's like a doorbell and dogs and oh my gosh. Okay, Rodney. <laughs> Hopefully it's just a delivery or one of my roommates gets it. Um, I know it's way too easy. Yeah, it can be. Um, Dark Sai. All right, good, dude. Dark Sai. Dude, you had trouble. You were lost, but now you're found. Wow, what a time to be alive. Um, Rona, dude, everybody. Dude, the redemption is real. The redemption is absolutely real. Wow, well done. Absolutely well done. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Saggy. All right, cool. Nice. Ratios, you've mastered them. There's nothing else to learn. Absolutely, well, I mean, probably a little bit. Jordan, shout out to Jordan on the late answer. I, I, I'm behind on the stream, so shout out to Jordan. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. What do you guys want to work on? Is there anything in particular you guys have questions on? Um, anything about the SHSAT, I guess, that you have uh, questions on? Um, yeah, I guess we can go over whatever. <laughs> I'm going to turn up my microphone, so headphone alert. Uh, unleashed. Yeah, bro. Oh, Geek, I see you too with that right answer, bro. Shout out to Geek. Um. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So yeah, you want to work on Illuminati? We can work on Illum Illuminati applications. Yeah, you have to go and find a blue goat and you have to sacrifice it. Survey questions? What do you mean about survey? Uh, uh, Rachel, we're going to do a reading comp tomorrow. So, or ELA tomorrow. So yeah, you can ask life questions. I also do, I also do life advice um, on these streams. So uh, Tejas, you sent me an email question. Look at it in all caps. Okay. <laughs> okay that's all i need just be told all right let's see um oh my god he wants to do five minus three again <laughs> you guys are gonna crush it too, too many people are gonna crush that tages uh sokatoa that's not gonna be on your test um yeah yeah, tips on taking the test. Yeah, totally. I got tips on taking the test all day, dudes. So the first tip that you you guys need <laughs> emotionally, how to handle it. Okay, got you. So for the test, you have to realize that you're running your own race. Okay, you can't compare yourself to anybody else in the room because that's just tragic. So you got to run your own race, just focus on you type thing. The second thing, or I guess the, the number one thing that I find is so important is pacing. So make sure you can get to everything on the test. There's two different problems with pacing. Either you move too quickly, even if you're really confident, you're like, no, I crushed that. But if you have 15 minutes left at the end of the section, you have to like chill for a second. You got to chill and go, wait a minute, did I move way too fast? The other thing is if you're way too slow, then you won't get all of the questions. The second is uh, make sure you have a solid strategy. You have to know which section you're going to go after first and attack it. If it's going to be the ELA section, then do it first. If it's going to be that math section, Flip, 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 flip. Go to that math section first. I know people want to finish strong, but bro, bro, bro. Go to that math section. Make sure you can crush it. I just graded a, uh, two, a student's practice test recently, and they were just out of the bonus. Like, because they got, like, I think it was like 10 wrong. If they were to get nine wrong, they would got an extra 10 points. So, dude, you have to pick a section and actually crush one section. That is your goal to absolutely dominate and crush one section. The, the other section, the second section, needs to just be pretty good, okay? It doesn't have to be insane, but it's gotta be pretty good. Keep in mind, they only take the top 3%. So that's pretty much what I would say for this. Um, 57 each. Mm. Uh, you got a composite of 597. That's pretty solid, bro. You'd get into most schools with that one, dude. 
um dude yeah april if you're finishing with like 30 seconds or 30 minutes dude you gotta pace yourself bro i don't know maybe tejas was that your test tiffany more questions what do you mean like which type of questions do the section you're better at first dude i agree with that auditioning dude you can crush sections zao you just gotta believe in yourself bro okay uh what website do you use jordan that's kind of chill yeah because i have a scale that we can use do statistics shot <laughs> statistics aren't gonna be on the test bro do you mean like probability and stuff um yeah you really do need to go for 300 plus in one of your sections yeah because if you think about it like most schools have a cutoff score of around like 550 520 right i know that's supposed to be just a 20 whatever it's like 550 or 520 right so keep in mind to do that you need a 275 and 275 on your sections or if you crush one section and get a 310 then you only need a 220 and a 250 you know what i'm saying so how do you believe in yourself the only way you can believe in yourself is by confidence you can't lie to yourself and convince yourself you're a good student so how do you get confident um I start problems and I'm not sure at the end I got 11 star. That's good to start problems though. Cause then if you have extra time, you know which ones to go back to. So the only way you can get confidence, dude, and I'm for sure about this is by practicing. If you practice a ton and you get really, really good, then you will start to feel that confidence coming to the streams, crushing the questions over and over and over, dude, that will give you confidence, bro. So the more you practice, the more that confidence is going to come, dude, I'm telling you, bros. So just practice, 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 and then you will feel confident. Um, and when you sit down on the test, you just got to do your best, dude. Your only way to communicate to the te or to the, the schools that you're smart, because you, you need to, you need to convince the school you're smart. You can't talk to them. You can't write them. You can't like send them a video. The only thing you can do to convince these schools that you're smart is to get a lot of right answers. That's it. So don't worry about like if how you're doing compared to other people. Just focus on getting as many right answers as possible, dude. Yeah, dude, you should get Zhao. You should get a sticky note. Right? I believe in myself. Put it on your forehead, dude. And that way, if you're ever not confident, just whoop, peel it off your forehead and look at it and remember to believe in yourself. That's what's up, dude. <laughs> yeah, BK Tech is 490. Yeah. Oh, okay, Tejas, you got a real question up in here? Let's see what you got, bro. Okay, that's a pretty good question, dude. I kind of like that one. So let's see if you guys can solve this one. This one's from Tejas. I want to see if you guys can just figure this out because it might be on the test. Um, and this would be like a grid in question. Oh, I was thinking when I was tight, whatever you guys get it. Okay, cool. So dudes, here's the question. Shout out to Tay just for this one. What is the value of X that satisfies? You know what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> I believe in you, April, so much. Oh my gosh, dude. I believe in you so much. <laughs> if you ever doubt it, just tell me. I believe in you, bros. I absolutely, dude. Uh, if you, <laughs> if you are at these streams, if you are at these streams, I believe in you because that means that you're grinding. Yeah. Um, so the fact that you guys are grinding, bro, that's what this test means. Mm hmm. That's what this test means. Yeah. So you guys can do it. Okay. We got some answers coming in. Henry. Ooh, Saggy's being real technical with it nice dude yeah introvert very nice dude study Xiao. dude rachel shod got negative two right shod i got you bro auditioning jordan nice jordan dark say oops 
uh, Nahar. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. But, dude, Ricky's got negative two. Dude, I wonder how you guys did this. Did you guys all, like, uh, factor this, Tiffany? Or did you, uh, Taffany today is your name? <laughs> or did you guys, like, uh, just kind of look at it and try to figure it out? That's that's what I'm curious about. Uh, sports show. Uh, yeah, dude, it's like four weeks away. Dude, Professor Dragon, you got to get a hold of yourself, bro. You got to lock it down, buddy. Start doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, did it block you from sending a link, Dark uh, Jordan? Uh, sometimes a filter does. If you send it again, I'll approve it. But sometimes I miss that. I try to approve everything. I, I don't really care what you guys put in the chat, but my filter is like pretty hardcore now. Um, you guys can check. Yeah, yeah, that's nice, dude. Some bad life advice. Uh, say no all the time. Just say no to everybody and everything. That's my worst life advice I could give. Um, yeah, that can happen too, Rachel. Don't be overconfident. Confidence is a solid state. You shouldn't feel vibrating like I'm the best. No, it's solid and sure. It's like a rock. You can't move a heavy rock. And that's what confidence is. So if you ever feel like, uh, that's not confidence. So just study a little bit more. Uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy, Jordan. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what link you're trying to say send, but it won't even let me approve it, which is weird. Um, okay, so let's go through how to do this. Obviously, I've just been staring at this problem for way too long, talking about bad life advice. All right, so for these types of problems, when you have an x squared and an x, there's two ways you can do this. The dumb way, which I totally appreciate, is you factor an x out of the equation. So you get x plus 3 equals a negative 2. And we can just start thinking about combinations of numbers that do this. We know that needs to be negative, so it's probably going to be positive and then a negative in here, and we start finessing it. Or what you could do to solve this legit is to make it equal zero. So x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals zero. And there's a reason why we do this, because we have to foil it. You have to ask yourself which numbers multiply to equal 2 and which ones add to equal 3. So that's going to be 2 and 1, 2 times 1. 2 plus 1, so we know this is x plus 2, x plus 1, and now why we have it equaling 0 is revealed, because we have two terms multiplying by each other. If x is negative 2, the whole side is 0, and we're good to go. If x is negative 1, the whole side of 0, and we're going to be good to go too. So yeah, two answers here, negative 2 works, negative 1 works. Good job, guys. Absolutely crush. Nobody got a wrong answer. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, Zrizzy, I see you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, introvert. Shout out to introvert, bro. Yeah, or dark side. You could just work your way backwards, bro. Or Zrizzy being really, real cocky cool there, bro. Quadratic formula is real deal. That is real deal, if you guys know how to do that. Um, dude, you're allergic to dog saggy? Oh, that's so sad. Like, I feel you, bro. Uh, yeah, you could also use a quadratic formula, Ziao. Uh, but that's definitely not going to be on the 8th grade. Maybe in the ninth grade, SHSAT, but not the 8th grade. I just guessed when I get desperate on the mock. Ooh, well, I hope you did good, Rachel. Dude, April, you got to get a divorce from that graphing calculator because you're not going to get one during the SHSAT. Oh, dudes, I'm... I finally, I know I've been teasing it for so long, but I finally download or finally updated DeepMind. I'm going to release it really soon. It's going to be so sick. And I'm changing floors one through the end. So if you've played it before and you come back to DeepMind in like a week, it's going to be entirely new. So I'm just teasing that a little bit. Uh, yeah. So just be on the lookout. Uh, probably in early October from DeepMind. Can we get geometry? Yeah, Tiffany, what do you want to work on, bruh? Um, yeah, what do you want to work on? TI-80, ooh, the CE+. plus, Dude, those calculators are run by the mafia, dude. Did you guys know Texas Instrument is run by the mafia? I mean, not the actual mafia, but they're like math mafias. <laughs> they really are. They really are a math mafia. And I'm so afraid of them. Buy, go out and buy 10 other calculators. I'm sorry, Texas Instruments. But really, they are. Because, dude, they've been $80 for like decades why are they still eighty dollars iphones are just a couple hundred dollars why is this calculator that can only do math eighty dollars like i could buy a fitbit that does way more than that ti-83 you know what i'm saying is it 82 percent good uh, it just depends on where the distribution is if that means you got a hundred percent of your math right and the rest uh ela then maybe um yeah 
Um, okay. So do, 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 do. All right, let me pull up my OBS. Oh yeah, so I will be uh, releasing DeepMind really soon. I'm really excited about the updates. I think it's gonna be really sick. Um, yeah. So Tiffany, was there something that you wanted to work on specifically with the um, with the geometry, bruh? All right, hold on, hold up. Do 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 do. Tay just got another question in the inbox. Ooh. Oh, that's a really hard question. That's a really hard question. Okay, I'm gonna do an easier version of the question Tay just just sent me via email. Um, <laughs> you want to work on life? Well, what's up? <laughs> you can talk about life. Uh, I got I actually give extremely good advice. So if you have any questions you need advice on, I give like top top tier advice. So let me write down this question. Okay, cool. Here's a really good question. Um, tell us more. I can tell you whatever. All right, here we go. This is based on the question Tay just sent me, but I think it's a little bit more fair. X to the power of A squared over X to the power of B squared equals X to the 36. Let's get it. If A plus B equals three, what is the value of A minus B? <laughs> Dark side, you're addicted to Vietnam flashbacks. That's pretty, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty crazy, bro. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh, study, what's up, dude? All right, I'll give you guys like another minute and a half. Just gets so hard. Oh, dude, all of them are 85. Or, ooh, that's tough, dude. Maybe she'll curve it. <laughs> it's it's a really hard one. Um, Phoenix got one. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to do this one, actually, uh, in 30 more seconds, though. I'll give you guys 30 more seconds. Phoenix, you got one, my dude. Where'd my green pen go? Okay. Miscellaneous got one, too. Okay. So that's Phoenix and Miscellaneous. Nice, guys. Um, Zrizzy got it too. All right. Yeah. Do you remember? Re do you remember? <laughs> April got 42. Oh my gosh. <laughs> April, did you do that in your head? <laughs> no, it's all good. Steady. You're good to go, bro. Uh, <laughs> squared. How would this go down? Well, we could just write it out. X times X times X times X times X over x times x and then we can cross out easily so what we're left with is x to the fit or x to the third or 3x x times x times x another way you could do this is just say whenever you divide that's like subtracting so if they have the same base and you divide it's like subtracting so for this one i would say it's the same thing as x to the fifth minus second and then i get my x to the third for this top one what i would say is that it's x to the power of a squared minus b squared equals x to the power of 36. So that's the big step you have to take is when you have the same base and you have exponents and that you're dividing, then you subtract. And so since these have the same base and they're exponents, I just subtract them. This one is five minus two. This one happens to be a squared minus b squared. But then since our bases are like this, we can pretty much compare them and just say that a squared minus b squared equals 36, right? Because that's what the exponents are and the bases are the same. So we can actually factor this. This is the hardest step into it. This is actually a plus b, a minus b. Yeah, that's the hard part. And if it, a plus b is three, divide each side by three, That's the answer. 
<laughs> yeah, this is really hard. Shout out to Tay just for the question, though. Really hard. Uh, also, don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already, because who doesn't like studying for the SHSAT? It's only the biggest test you guys have taken in your lives so far. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. <laughs> uh, you're attracted to graphing calculators. Um, April, I would just say understand that, you know, sometimes when you love somebody, they don't love you back the same way. Yeah, the answer is 13. So if they, you know, just it's cool to love those graphing calculators. Just make sure they love you back because you don't want to like be giving and giving to someone who just takes and takes. Oh, is it 12? Yeah. Duh. You guys are so smart. I'm so dumb. Okay. Yeah, it's 12. That's a two. Yeah, that was actually, I was just testing you guys. I was making sure that you guys knew that that was a 12. Um, so good job. Rachel, you passed the test. Auditioning, Henry, you guys passed the test. Professor Dragon, you passed the test. Everybody who didn't notice my mistake, you didn't pass the test. So <laughs> yeah, it's 12. I'm just kidding. It's 12. Good job. Good job. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So that's how that one goes down. Um, three. Yeah, exactly, Tammy. I'm. I'm. Sometimes I gotta test you, bro. I gotta test you. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, that's how that one goes down. That was a hard question. But, dude, let me show you guys something. Let me give you a redemption on that one because I want to make sure you guys know this concept. So, here is the redemption for all the real people in the chat. Um... Oh, that's totally wrong. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Here's one for all the real ones in the chat. Here's your redemption. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. I believe. 5 to the 28th over 5 to the x equals 25. What is x? What is x? Uh, that's okay, Jordan. I don't have any friends, and I'm doing awesome. So, you know what they say: it's better to have one good friend in your life than a hundred just okay friends. Um, X equals three. That's the first answer from Shad. Three, and that's from Shad. Uh, then we got a bunch of people saying twenty-six. Xianning, Tammy, Tay just thinks it's three, two. Rachel, Zhao. Uh, Shad thinks it's three. I already got you, Shad. JJ thinks it's 26. What's up, JJ? A boss. Noise. Venna. Dude, we might need... <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. You're my friend, buddy. Jordan. Nice. Leo. No, it's Rizzy. All right, nice. Nice. Dragon. Yeah, this is hard. This is how we're going, dude. This is the grind. Okay, cool. So let me go over the. Oh, you guys get 10 more seconds. Wow, you guys answered this so fast. Dark. Nice, dark. Okay, cool. That's enough time. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, I actually, no, I don't have kids or a, mar or a wife or an elaborate social life. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I see you, Phoenix. Phoenix, your comet got grabbed in the filter, but I see you. Okay, there you are. Study. Nice. Okay, cool. So guys, it's just subtraction, but notice we don't have the same base over here. So what I'm gonna have to do is rewrite this equation. I'm definitely gonna keep that as a five over 28. I'm definitely gonna keep that as a five over X, but I'm gonna change what's on the right side of the equation to five squared. So we know that we're gonna be dealing with subtraction because dude, here's the chart that I was thinking about drawing for you guys, but I didn't draw for you guys. There's the X squared, there's your multiplication, and there's your adding. And this is the radical, and this is your division, and this is your subtraction, okay? So if you have two exponents that are dividing by themselves, then just go down one in this chart, you subtract. If you have two exponents that are to the power of each other, then you multiply them. 
if you have two exponents that are multiplied to each other, then you add them, right? Because if it's like five squared times five to the third, that's the same thing as five to the fifth. That's two exponents multiplied by each other, step down and add them. So if we have two divided by each other, we step down and subtract them. So it's going to be five to the 28th minus X equals five squared. So 28 minus X equals two. Yeah, X is gonna equal that 26. Nice, nice. I don't know how you guys got three. I don't know how three popped up there, but yeah. Um, good job. Good job, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, really good job. <laughs> Sub, subtraction. Everybody subscribe to my channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah, that's how this one goes down. Hopefully, you guys don't have any questions about that. Um, yeah, it's going to be crazy where people from the chat... Oh, what's up, Anaket? People from the chat see each other um, in... Uh, high school that'll be kind of crazy because you guys are getting into dude william i think you're really far behind on the chat dude i think you're like really far behind you might want to push the live button uh hey what's up venus yeah cool um yeah how did i get three times a minus b um i got that from um a substituting in a plus th a plus b equals three so i just substitute in three for a plus b What's up, Anaket? Typo? Yeah, that's a pretty big typo, guys. <laughs> I'm just playing, though. It's all good. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so oh, also think about what school you guys want to go to. Only really list the schools you want to go to. That's kind of the big thing. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. Gangbangers. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah. So hopefully this makes sense now. Uh, do your question. Venna, what's your question? Did you email it to me? I didn't get it. Wait, did I? Oh, I just got it. Let's see what it says. Oh my gosh. What does this even say? Hold on. Venna sent me a question. I'm looking at my email right now. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Google is like having a really, really hard time with it for some reason. Okay. Wow. Where did you get that question from, Venna? <laughs> oh, dude, I actually have a really good friend that just uh, that goes to HSMSE and he loves it, dude. It's like a super hardcore engineering school, though like super hardcore like your math sophomore year is like harder than most senior year math yeah you want to go to the anime academy well dude if you oh, just know that <laughs> doubt <laughs> yeah okay yeah Veta, that question is way too hard that is way too hard Veta. that's like an sat where did you get that and even that's even too hard for an sat for real that's like super difficult stuff. You wanna go to Shiba Academy? That would be so much fun. I'd wanna to go to Shitsu Academy because I love Shitsus. Um, <laughs> yeah, sports show. That's how we ball around here, bro. <laughs> Dude, nice. Thanks, Tammy. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, but you guys don't need to pay me anything. I do this for free. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm going to I'm going to end the stream here. It's going to happen, bros. It has to happen. Um but thanks again last week for helping us get to 1000 streams all the or screen uh subscribers, sorry. <laughs> my head is like, oh my gosh. Okay. Trying to write Tyler tutor test prep at @gmail. All right, cool. All right, chill. So this is my email. If you guys need anything, including life advice, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of kidding, but not really. If you guys do need anything, here is my email right there. Uh, this is my website. Um, and dude, DeepMind is getting deeper. I know I promised it a forever ago and I didn't do it, but I'm going to replace all of the questions in DeepMind, all of them. So if you've played it before and you've beat it, it will be another challenge for you. Um, I can't y'all. I can y'all. <laughs> Talk about Jordan. 
It's the iconic ending, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay cool so yeah check it out tether2.com if you haven't played it already you can definitely play deep mine but if you've played it before just wait till like next week or the week after i'm going to be releasing new floors and all new questions for the old floors so it's going to be it's going to be crazy dude shod what a time to be alive right <laughs> no problem jordan you're welcome my dude it's i'm glad that you guys come um yeah or play brawl stars or whatever we're gonna be doing that i'm gonna be streaming on wednesday i'm also gonna be streaming on tuesday and thursday and friday yeah yeah of course rona you guys got it so yeah if you guys have any questions during the week just remember them you can shoot them to me here or you can just come to the stream and you know i'll be here to help you guys with the shsat answer questions and stuff and i think i'm going to do more videos where i release a video earlier in the day like i did today with like five poll options to give you to give you guys like little additional practice do you guys think i should still do that should they just be math and then ela five questions or do you guys like that they were mixed together today i don't know let, drop a comment like let me know because i want to give you guys more content because you guys are so awesome to come around and study even when you guys are so busy so i want to give you guys more like high quality content uh dude a boss that's awesome bro we're gonna be definitely working with that handbook so yeah, I'm going to be doing more videos in the early part of the day with questions in them. And if you want to ask me about them in the stream, then we can totally do that. Um, so check that out. TylerTutor.com is my website. If you go to TylerTutor.math, there's or .com slash math, there's like a whole other part of the website you can look at. Check out the game, DeepMind. It's going to be really sick. Um, okay, dudes. I'm out of here. Good stuff today. Really, really nice. If you guys have anything you want to work on tomorrow, just let me know. See ya.